We would like to invite Katrina. This is uh, this is uh, an impromptu moment. Come on up. We're sharing with you a West Coast tradition, and we want to wrap you. We want to wrap you with all our love. We want to wrap you with all our kindness and all our respect because you have been the research lead at the community level and without your involvement the ripples would have stopped short and I think that we want you to stand tall with us and hold your head high because you are a loving worthwhile woman and we are so lucky to have your at the ground leadership because it's a way of knowing that long after the rest of us are gone, that you have, you have support around you. You've got renewed some friendships. And this is an important time to, to stay protected and feel the love of that blanket around you and the love of all of us. Because we're only a candle flicker away, pal. We're only a candle flicker away. And I'd like to hear, create a space for Gail. Thank you. Uh, I think it should be acknowledged that uh, we wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't for Petrina's leadership. Um, I thank Petrina for bringing me home so that I can share gifts that I bring gladly. Um, and I really ha truly have valued the opportunity that uh, the invitation from Petrina to be part of this. Um, I've always known the passion that she has um, and her yeah, just genuine commitment to Labrador, right, and the well-being of all of us. And I'm so glad um, that she had invited me to be part of it. Um, I think it should be acknowledged that in this process, I mean, it's hard sometimes to see in a snapshot like right here and right now um, what some of the magnitude of what has happened as a result of Gina's leadership and the involvement of the women. Uh, a lot of thing, conversations, of course, happen just within our circle. And one of them has been women from various different experiences, supposedly, but being very much connected to the land, women who are Inu, Inuit, Nunatuavut, um, or you know, non-Aboriginal, but have been here a while and or set up some really strong roots. Um, they realize that with the really enlightened realization that, hey, we used to get along. Why aren't we getting along? Uh, as women in the, in the territory now. What's happened? And we realized that in our little circle, and I know it may be happening other places as well, but within our group, we looked around and we had women from all of the different um, cultures in our community. And I know, um, you know, I'm not here all the time, but I know that that was, has been so rare that we see everybody together and sharing an interest uh, and working together. And that was, I know that that was Petrina's vision when we started talking about that, and it was so profound to see that <coughs> happening in this project. So it's important, I think, Petrina, for you to also know that you are so not alone in all of this. And I think the bigger part of that is acknowledging that part of what we're doing here as, as women in this community and the work that I've seen is I've witnessed a lot of risk taking and uh, a lot of uh, speed bumps and and people really being being timid and shy. There's a really good, you know, a really good sense that things have been like this for a long time, sort of like not to rock the boat. And I think that it's important that that the gals here, we hold our hands up to the ladies that have been a part of this the whole time. Because I think that that it's a a full circle. It's a full circle, and we talked about the story of the snake. And sometimes we have to shed a skin, but that snake's belly is always on the on the belly of the earth. And I think the women here have the earth and the big land at the heart of their conversation. And it's it's vital that we make sure that there's a place for women's voices and that they stand more united. And there's that opportunity there. It's changing the conversation. It's not about you know making anybody feel bad or putting anybody down for having passion and, and having care and concern for each other and the land it's about being participants in the conversation and I think that the ripples 
that you've created are, are part of a larger, a larger tsunami of, of awakening. And I think Louisa said it beautifully yesterday. I think it was a conversation we were having about people waking up from a sleep. And one of the things that we've done here this last, last year and this year is we've broken through some silence. And sometimes that can be a threat to some folks because people don't like to, to break that silence. And one of the quotes that you may have ended up with on your bookmark is, silence is too high a price to pay for anybody's approval. It will not protect you. Silence will not protect you. So we're all strong women here. <laughs> and I am so proud of all of you. It's very good. Very good. So I think we have a win. <laughs> Um, uh, I think the only thing I can say right now is uh, I am who I am because of the women in this room. I am who I am because of Labrador and the land and the, where I've grown up. And um, I am who I am because of the women. And it's not, um, it's not a passion for Labrador. It's not a passion for women. It's a passion for what's right. And we as Labrador women have a voice and we are right and we have the right to be heard and uh, I do this because of I do what I do because of you women and because you're so fabulous so thank you thank you, Very good. So, thank you for coming today and uh, be sure to talk up some of the gals that have been in a leadership role but talk up some of their experience and please add your comments to the wall and maybe make a wish on our tree and enjoy the rest of the afternoon thank you for coming Nakumi. Nakumi. Any other thank yous out there? Any other ways to say thank you? Miigwech. Miigwech. All right. Thanks. Thank you to our women leaders. Thank you. Good job.